Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel. Our Google Ads series is going on. If you want to watch the videos, go to our YouTube channel called Analytical Growth and you can watch the videos. Uh, in today's lecture, we'll be discussing about Google Ads account structure and hierarchy. So let's get started. So in Google Ads account structure, first option that we have is account, you know, so you need to have a Google Ads account first. In in a Google Ads account, you can have multiple campaigns. You know, it is showing here. So inside each campaign, you could have multiple ad groups. Here, the picture is showing. And inside each ad group, you could have multiple ad set. Okay. So yeah, let's see practically. Okay. So this is a Google Ads account like this is our Google Ads account called Analytical Growth. So this is the first structure of our Google Ads account here we are showing. So what we can do in account level, you know. So let's see. Uh, we can do these sort of things in our Google Ads account level like we can set up audience we can use BD strategies. We can use negative keywords in accounts level. We can use share budget in accounts level. We can use multiple locations and group them in our account level. We can use placement, uh, placement exclusion actually, that you know, on certain apps, website, we don't want to show our ads for and we can use asset library in our accounts level. So this was for accounts level and for campaign level. So we need to get to know what is campaign first, okay? So what is campaign actually? Campaigns are the basis of every Google Ads account. When setting up a campaign, marketers must first consider the goal of the campaign are you looking to find customers for your product or service? Increase brand awareness? Drive new visitors to your website? So let's see it practically. Okay. So new campaigns. Select new. Uh, so you have to choose a objective here. I'll be discussing this uh, objective in later videos. So let's create a campaign without a goal like uh, i have to select a campaign so i will have a detailed video on uh, campaign type okay uh, for this uh, tutorial purpose i am uh, selecting search okay so this was the conversion tracking i have a uh, i have bunch of videos regarding google ads conversion tracking you can go and watch them okay i'm click continue and you can name it continue start new Oh, bidding next so this is the campaign settings what we can do in our campaign level you know so basically we can select networks like search network display network we can give our locations we can select our languages we can select audiences targeting observation we can start we can give our start and end dates we can schedule so we can make dynamic search set in campaign settings okay those are the options that we can do in our campaign label data okay so a campaign uh, after campaign we have ad group okay mm -hmm. then we'll see the ad group so let's uh, get to know what is ad group actually so Ad group, uh, what is ad group actually, okay? The next area of focus when considering campaign structure is ad groups. Ad groups allow you to break your campaign into multiple categories, topics, or themes. Since it, each ad group has its own keyword, targeting, setting, and ads, this, this lets you get more granular and specific within your campaign. Thus, by creating ad groups, you can ensure that your audience ends up seeing 
are as relevant as possible. So let's see it practically. To access that group, I have to click next. So you can see here, add group option. So in our add group option, we have the uh, options to give our uh, keyword here, you know. So you can uh, put any keywords that you want for your ads here, okay. So in add group, we have ads option, like like for who is, who is website we want to uh, advertise, you know. So you can give uh, the website URL here, display path, you know, and you can give the headline here. I will be discussing about this, how to create ads, you know, and this sort of stuffs in later videos, okay. And we can give descriptions and we can use assets or extensions. We have multiple extensions. We'll be discussing about this uh, later. So yeah, that's it for keywords, you know. So uh, hopefully you understand. So that's it for this video. Hopefully you like it. If you like, you can comment us below. So have a good day. Bye-bye.